sponsored by Winwing Technologies, replicates the real Viper's mechanical movement with full metal construction. Hello, valued viewers. I hope you're doing very well. It's time for our fourth mission on Wolfpack. We are going to try, retry the mission that we attempted last week to destroy 30,000 tons in the North Sea. It went, it went terribly last time, but we're going to try and learn our lesson. Let's go over subs and then we will talk about some basic tactics, things we've learned. Sub 1. Cap, sort of captain. Cortana, sort of TDC, but she's also doing just about everything else in the subs. Sock, navigator, very important job as we're learning. Grump, helmsman, obviously important job. Aggie, say hello Aggie. Hello. Aggie is actually a real life, uh, are you in the US? Yeah. Aggie is a real life submariner who's asked to come and give us some tips so we'll see how it goes our submarine is hms moskova sub two captain rhino tdc armchair uh navigator yeah. noob guns is the helmsman and they are uss your mom sub three bean captain rear kit barbie tdc srob navigator strider helmsman they are u69 okay guys things i learned from last time I was going to say deck wash any ingress, but I'm scratching that idea because it's causing problems with the diesels. So, Second, we've learned from last time, guys, that we have to do it properly. We can't just go to the front of the convoy and then turn in because they'll, they'll spot us every time. The, the baddies are really good. They're clever. They use their hydrophones. They use their active sonar, and they're always looking for a periscope. So this time, we've got to go further in front of several kilometers in front predict their course so this is all about navigation navigator predict their course go get ahead of them by five kilometers set the trap dive stopwatches when they're ready we'll put the periscope up when they're near and then do the attack i think it's a much better idea and that's obviously how they would do it in real life in real life they would just charge into a convoy you know they would set a trap through being clever now the problem we get valued viewers is that a real submarine crew has well days essentially to set well maybe not days but maybe a day to set a trap we don't have that we've got two hours i get you for and then uh, after that that's the end of the mission because you know i lose my guys so we are time restricted the way we're going to get around it is by being super efficient as soon as we get in it's smack the diesels on it's go forward find the baddies really quickly with our eyes and absolutely no messing around no flooding the diesels no bollocks today we're going to be efficient and a good team and make sure you follow us as well guys no one gets lost everyone does well item number three periscopes down we were probably had our periscope spotted last time when we get close this is within five clicks we've got a ration our periscope so it's up when you're doing something with it otherwise it's down and stowed okay guys and that's all of us because if one of you gets your periscope spotted we all go down welcome in valley viewers you know what we're doing by now okay first thing first guys find the convoy everyone either on a scope or on deck find the convoy that's an order Grump, tell, okay, the current. Tell, tell the rest to find the convoy as well. Yep, stand by one. Current course, full speed at uh, zero, 060. Zero. Roger, I'm going outside. I won't be able to hear you. Yeah, um, I'm having the same problem. Where's the convoy, guys? Where's the convoy? I do not have visual. Oh. Visual. Bearing two, I'd call it two five seven. Beautiful. That's a war. Yeah, looks like a. It's a war vessel. Yeah, that looks like a flower, uh, flower Corvette. So we might actually be out in front of them. That's good enough, Cortana. That's excellent work. What's our current heading, Cortana? We're at zero six zero heading. Let's say I'm on the observation scope, so I don't have that information. Full ahead, Grump. The diesel's on and full ahead. Oh, okay. So the rest of the convoy is uh, can be located anywhere between about two eight eight and original call out looks like there are two flower escorts um, with the convoy i don't see a destroyer a uh, fairly large convoy Jeez. front ship does appear to be a pretty juicy target roger, roger. wolf pack message from wolf pack please grump scratch bearing the actual bearing is 343 343 the hostiles that's the hostiles we'll carry on at 060 i think we're looking at a type 38 heavy freighter which one's that? The front one or a different one? The front one, yeah, the front one. Okay, let's use that as bullseye. Okay, have you got our mast size? We're now I'm pretty confident on that. 
Uh, mast is 35 meters. Roger, stand by. I'm going to try ranging it, and maybe you try ranging it as well, if you can. Roger. Okay. I'm going for about 14 milliradians, I think. Okay, I've got them. I've actually got them really far away, Cortana, like 10 clicks or something. Is that what you've got? Yeah. Uh, which one? Got about 10 clicks. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, that's, that's, a, that's about what I've got. Okay, uh, damn. Damn, we've got our first fix. Are you ready? Standing by. Three, three, eight. And make it 10 clicks, please. Three, three, eight for 10. They've got a liner, Cortana. They've got a, you see that? They've got a liner. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's, That's massive. That. That's Ooh, pretty. Sexy. I want a piece of that. Okay. Uh, oh. Let me identify it. I've never seen a liner before. It's massive, no, guys. It's such a big convoy. It's beautiful. Grum, can you please inquire subs two and three and make sure that none of them got any problems and they're all on current heading? Grum, can you check our current heading, please? No, it doesn't matter. Can you check they're all following orders? All right, stand by. I just want to make sure they haven't got any problems. It's kind of looking like a passenger liner Mark One. Beautiful. Is Type it one. Tonnage out of interest? Oh. Uh, 14,528. Oh, big sexy. Indeed. All right, let me see if I can get a range on it. I'm going to ask Sub 2 to set that as their bullseye. Affirmative, yep. Um, mass height, 39 meters. Grump, are you in contact with them? Yeah, stand by, Cap. I think we're all in three different positions. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Stand by. I'm seeing where they're at, because they say they're behind the convoy, but right. I'm just saying that they're, like, sideways. I've got him in over about 10 kilometers as well. We are 10 kilometers to their starboard. 10 kilometers to their starboard at the front. To their starboard, Grump. We're in great shape, guys. Okay. We're in great shape for an intercept. Passing message, uh, Boat 3 has uh, the warship at 143 from their current location. Can you find out where they are? Find out where Boat 3 is, Sock. Yeah, give me a bearing. Give me bearing range. Boat 3 sees another boat, uh, U boat, at 183. That means that they are north. That means they're north of another U boat. So I'm going to reciprocal that and look for it. Cortana, can you check out to the north and see if you can find boat 3? Uh, I. We think they're north of someone. It may not be us. I don't know. Uh, Damp, are you ready to take a new fix for progress fix? Yep, ready. Stand by. Okay. Our balls is three, three, three for ten. Confirm, Cap. We're uh, spread out as a wolf pack. All right. Well, it's going to be every man for themselves until they either find us or or what happens. Um, do we want to do we want to stop and regroup real quick? Or no, I want to push, push, push. I really want to push. I want them to get to us. Um, make it Got their it. mission. Make it their mission to find us. We are on the starboard of the convoy at the front by 10 miles. Their mission is to find us and not get spotted. I'm rearranging yeah. Cortana because it's critical we don't get too close. Let's put on that. It's 10 kilometers. It's 10 kilometers. You can still. Yeah, I had the flowers at about eight, but that's I that was trying to guesstimate using the funnels. So yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pretty confident this is 10 kilometers from what I'm seeing. Okay, um, first things are on the map. Things are looking good, guys. Okay, this one's gonna work. Okay, Aggie, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Sorry about uh, ignoring you. It's just um, we're being thrown into the breach as ever. Um, can you guys can you guys see the lines I just plotted on the chart? Uh, yes, I can see them. All right, so that, those lines on that chart are they? Is the the ship we're looking at? Is it driving the same direction as us or the yes. opposite direction? Parallel, so as in matching us as far as we can see. All right, so you see where those, those lines crossed? That's yes. his maximum range. Uh, what does his maximum range mean? That, that is, he's, he cannot physically be past where those lines cross. Wow, okay. Don't know how you did that, but okay, very good. Yep. How, how did you do this? This is magic. <laughs> Submariner, baby. This is magic. All right, so now I'm showing him, showing him at about 9.6 kilometers. Um, yes, that's... How does that line up, actually? Perfectly. We are closing on them, guys. We're definitely closing on them. I'm going to check to a fix as well. Cap and or Cortana, can we have one of you spot where our other U-boats are at so we can get uh, fixation? I'm going to do it in a sec. I looked for them earlier, and I, I couldn't see it. 
I'll oh, have another shot in a second, guys. We're closing. Uh oh. Look at the flowers. Look at the flowers, Cortana. What's it doing? The flowers uh, are doing something. Just, yeah, it's getting closer. Uh, we should probably come right a bit. Right, 20 degrees relative. Grump. Right, 20, right, 20 degrees, degrees relative. Helm's eye. That's going to be zero, 080. Zero. Their front escort is doing a thing. We don't know what it's doing yet. I don't like it. I think we're closing on this convoy very quickly. I'm going to get a uni fix very shortly, guys. Uh, right, we are 17. Yeah, we're closing, dangerously close now. 17 milliradians is 17. I'm making us now a lot closer. I'm making us about 7.5 kilometers. I think we're on a conversion course, guys. And visibility is dangerously bright. Confirm new uh, absolute heading grump. Confirmed, holding steady at 080. Thank you. Hopefully they'll support us. Aggie, I really want to know what their heading is, if that makes sense. Which way are they heading? How the heck do I do that? So the best way for you to do that is, or do you want the warship or do you want the other one? No, the, the convoy. I'm never going to be able to track the warship, but I want a convoy. I want to know if we're converging or diverging. So zoom in as much as you can, right? And you want to look at, uh, Katana has already done this, uh, but you want to look at the angle between them and you. Uh, basically look at the faceplate right. of the superstructure. And right. give that, that's an angle on the bow. Uh, well, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, I'm going to guess about an 85 degree angle off the starboard. Off oh, the that's not bad. Off. That's not bad. Yeah, Maybe so. So, so. So then take your bearing and plus or minus your angle on the bow, and that's their course. Roger, roger. So since, they're, so since they're closing, um, since it's less than 90, then you're going to subtract. Roger, roger. Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to take a new reading. Okay, new intel cap uh, coming in. It looks like uh, the Wolfpack boats 2 and 3 are on the opposite side of the convoy. Okay, we're, there's no chance of meeting. They'll operate independently, but do not attack until we attack. Yeah, got people. Pass that along. I've done a 360, and they are not on our side. Yeah, I haven't seen anything either. All right, but well, let's check. The, that means the flowers is coming for us in that case, guys. Where's oh, it's it? definitely on this side of the convoy. Okay, flowers. Oh, flowers is not turning for us anymore. He just almost—it's almost like he changed his position in the convoy. But hmm. anyway, um, Graham, uh, Dan, are you ready for an update, please? Standing by. Navigation, standing by. Roger, I'm just taking my reading. Stand by, please. Got the flowers out at about six kilometers or so. I think he's zigzagging alongside the convoy. Yes, I'd agree with that. Um, Dan, please plot bullseye at three, two, zero, eight kilometers. Three, two, zero, eight kilometers. The, um, the range is a little inaccurate because they are so far away. It's hard with the, with the screen. The line has got a bit bigger. It's annoying having the flowers on our side, guys. For eight, Thank you. I know they're going to be a bit zigzaggy, but... Uh... Okay, that's looking good, guys. I think our initial ranging was a bit crap. Right, guys. Um, keep an eye out. I'm going for a quick wee-wee, and then we'll carry on. Hey, Cortana, do you know how to start the uh, stop watches? I do, yeah. I, yeah so my we, technique requires at least two. Yeah, if you start one and track it, and we do one every 30 seconds, we can start to get speed. If we do a, a look at them every 30 seconds, you just get a bearing. I gotcha. Uh, I don't have... I, I can only do relative bearing on the scope, though. I don't have a magnetic. All right, then there's another way we can do speed. And this is out of the... This is in the tutorial on this game. If you put your the scope in the bow of the ship, start a timer. Okay, yeah, that's the method that I use for my calculator. Yeah. I, I've got essentially two separate relative timings, one that requires them to traverse a certain number of degrees, one that has them do uh, about a stern traverse across a single line, and then Perfect. Uh, essentially I use the, uh, I think it's an arc sign. Uh, yeah, that's gotcha. right. Yeah, arc sign in order to uh, calculate an angle on bow using that. Um, guys, sorry to interrupt. Uh, they're getting further, the bullseye vessel is getting further away. I think we need to um, 10 degrees left apps uh, relative. What do you think about that, Cortana? They appear to be getting away from us again. Um, 
Yeah, we could probably do that. I mean, we'll we'll want to get a good good bit ahead of them. Yeah, let me just let me let me just rearrange it, rearrange it. Definitely getting away Nav from navigation has them at a um, has them at a uh, I'm sorry, movement of ninety three point one. Guys, I'm I'm almost certain they're zigzagging because you just have to take my word for it. They're kind of coming closer and then go. We're on a constant heading. And the bad and the bad news are coming closer, going away, coming clo within a corridor of about a kilometre, closer, going away. It makes the reading slightly difficult, but I think they're zigzagging because of that. I'm just gonna take another reading. That mass is a real bitch to get. Yeah. So I've got them at crap. Does that work out to nine point six kilometres? Yeah, about nine. I mean, yep, 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 yep. We can. Uh, yeah. Grump, can you go? Um, stand by. He is at 315, 315. Let's have a look at the map. Grum, can we have relatively left 10 degrees, please? Relative left 10 degrees, sounds like. We're a comfortable 9-ish kilometres, which is good. I think one of the reasons for their okay the, the erratic ranging, um, I think one of the reasons for that is also that they, they're doing a bit of a zigzaggy, which is a bit annoying. No, I'm holding steady at 070. Just pass along, Cap. We have uh, boat two sees the convoy at 104 from their location. Boat three has 137 from their location. So they Understood. are definitely on the uh, opposite side of the convoy of us. Understood. That's fine. We'll work with it. Tell them that we are now. How many kilometers ahead of them are we? Uh, 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 Sock, can you tell me that? Or do you not have that? Aggie, is there any way of. Stand by. It's just like a Pythagoras, not Pythagoras, what is it? Trig or something will tell us. Yeah, that's all it is, is Trig. Uh, so yeah, right now they're... Okay, uh, we are four and a half kilometers ahead of them. Can you pass that on Grump, out of interest? We're on their starboard bow, and we're four kilometers ahead of them, roughly. Uh, why, is, why are we diving? Hit the wrong button, sorry, it's Thank a... You left click. I'm, I'm uh, paranoid nowadays. Oh, did you pass the information that we're four kilometers ahead of them, Grum? Stand by, I'm getting um, courses and uh, directions from the other Sorry, yeah. groups so we can figure out where they're at. Yeah. Flowers is back halfway down the convoy now, which is great for us, because even if he does see us, by the time he sees us and is on us, we would have sunk their ships. Which is great, great, great. Right, give me new heading. Right, uh, range is the same as far as I can see. Heading is 312, 312, let me know my blight. So what we're doing, we're gonna plan to do Aggie, as I'm sure you know, is we're gonna try and get ahead of them, then turn in, well ahead of them, and then about three kilometers off their path, we're gonna be obviously dived and waiting. Uh, I'm guessing that's what you're expecting, right? That's exactly what I'm expecting. Roger. We've not managed to do it so far. Every time we've screwed it up one way or another, we've been spotted. So this time we're really pushing. But we haven't been efficient before. We're trying to be efficient. Cortana, you seen that flowers turn its bow directly to us? He can't have seen us. He can't have seen us. Yeah, I don't imagine that he, could, that he did. I think he's just doing his normal pattern. All right, I'm going to keep an eye on him. Good news is, he's. I know he's fast, but he's way down at the back now. Yeah, I've got him up somewhere between... I don't know. Maybe just shy of eight kilometers away. Okay, that's not too bad. Also, the uh, leading guy, Bullseye Man, is actually almost out of sight now, which is worrying me a little bit. Maybe it's the fog. Check his miller radiance. No, about nine clicks, or about ten or nine clicks. Maybe it's my eyes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, can you can you go on the map and check my trick to make sure that we are in fact about three kilometers ahead of them now? Let's see if I'm right. Sure. Cap, do you want me to talk you through? Uh, how to do the periscope? Um, no, because I'm going to give you. The, I'm going to give you the TDC as soon as we're in place. I'm going to give you the TDC scope, and that will be on the TDC machine. And you guys will be doing. I don't want nothing to do with it. Okay. Um, and, oh right. shit! Are you, can you record your screen? I see anything else to say because they want to see the attack. Oh yeah, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. So, I'll, uh, I'll just remind me to record. When, yeah, uh, when we change over, when Roger. We get, yeah, we change over. Okay, Flowers isn't looking too threatening at the moment, which is great. Okay, we've had a bearing, uh, not bearing change, but an update, uh, major update. Are you ready, Dan? Stand by, second. You Roger, actually, I'm just going to rearrange to just stand by, please. Yep, yeah, they're definitely, definitely moving away now, Cortana. We'll, I think we're going to have to make a heading change at some point. So I'd say 13 milliradians now. 13 milliradians is 35. 
Okay, I'm gonna say it's they- over about 10 kilometers. That's exactly right. 307 for 10 kilometers. 307 for 10 kilometers. So they're definitely moving away. Grump, can we have a left relative 10 degrees, please? Left to 060, Helms Eye. Copy, this is right in line for where I thought they were. Holding steady, 060. Okay, course plotted. Thank you, Jump. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that info, that's, it's getting tighter and tighter, it's beautiful. I just wish I knew where the other subs were. Any information on, not that it's that critical, because I trust them, but any other information on them, Grump? Okay, Flowers is right near the back now, which is wonderful news. And he's pulling back in line, which is great. Boat two last known was, they saw the convoy as zero, or one zero four, they were on a course of zero five zero. Boat three uh, saw the convoy at one three seven, and they were on a course of zero six five. Beautiful. I know exactly where, I don't know the ranges, but I know where they are. They're basically their valued viewers, that way, like that. Good work. All is well. We're three and a half kilometers ahead of them. Just about lost the ability to range Cortana, because they're at that horrible range. Uh, let me see if my method works. I'm Roger. Sort of using a cheesy method. They're also so far now, I can't check the angle on bow. What we need is a really a, a scope that can zoom in really far. That's what we need. Uh, I don't know. I'd say column somewhere around 11. Yeah. 11 to 11 and a half kilometers. All right. I'm going to keep adjusting our heading just to keep them here. Uh, can I have a relative left 10 degree pull, please? Crump left 10 degree. Left to 050, Helm's eye. Left 050, navigation eye. Also, I'm holding steady at 050. I guess there's an effect because we're getting out ahead of them. I guess there's also an effect that they're gonna, the distance is gonna get higher because of that, right? Because we're actually getting in front of them. That's something I need to think about. Man, this yep. is complex. What's our current distance from the convoy? Um, from Bullseye, which is the front merchant ship, the distance is about 11 kilometers, just on the edge of what we can see. Part of that is because we are so far ahead now. Yeah, it's called 11.2 kilometers. Aggie, bearing in Sock. mind... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, Grump, Sock. Sock, go ahead. Sir, can you give port half a degree? That way we'll be on actual true 050. Thank you. Stabilizing. Aggie, we need to s discuss the, the, the turn-in. It always gets us the turn-in because... We usually, we're not far, very far ahead. And that means we have to do the entire turn in submerge and we wreck our battery because we do the entire kind of 10 kilometer, well not 10, seven kilometer turn in on battery. Um, and it, we can only do what, eight knots submerge guys? So- hey, firmer for going full ahead and that's only 30 minutes of battery. So I need Aggie really with damp to plan how far ahead we need to be before we can make a turn in, which will be at eight knots, uh, and be out in front of the convoy sufficiently stationed to set the um, old World War II torpedoes up. Um, did you understand that? Yes. Yep. Okay. So. Do you need bearing range to target real quick? Yep. So uh, I just posted the uh, the battery uh, usage guidelines in the Discord again. That way you guys can reference it. Thank you, Cortana. I had it up. That helps a lot cool. because that's recent. I'm just going to rearrange. Cortana, do you have a speed off these guys yet? Uh, no, I, I prefer to use the, the timing method, so, uh, I, yeah, I, I really don't have a good guess yet. If we get far enough ahead when we're stopped, we hopefully will have time to do the uh, timing speed then when we're, when we're all stopped. That, was that is my, my hope, yes. Dan, be ready. Standing by. Uh, bearing 297 and I've got as best I can measure 12 kilometers now they're right on the edge of visibility okay you said 12 kilometers yeah let me know when plotted okay we're at this weird position where we're actually really far ahead now guys which is great it's just confusing to look at because we're nearly they're like 45 degrees what's the word guy bow on angle on angle on bow angle on bow angle. yeah angle on bow. so they're like 45 okay, degrees yeah. it's really weird to look at New bearing? Uh, it is currently 296. Maggie, the suck. Yep. I've plotted, I think, two possible positions for them. Uh, can you give me left one or right one that's correct? Left one. 
the chopping. Last one. Well done. Is that a line of best fit, Aggie? Yes. Nice. Okay, Cap, I'm going to read you back some numbers. You tell me if we're correct. Okay. Okay, bearing the target. Oh, hang on, sorry. 292 for 10. I, um, bearing the target is 293. 293. Okay, yep, that's about right. Range, I've actually got more like 12 kilometers, 12 kilometers. The main problem I've got so well, is, is they're, they're so far away now, it's ranging is incredibly inaccurate at the moment, from my point of view. I'm still showing you at about 11.5 kilometers. Yeah, I'm showing, my best guess is 12 kilometers, if I were to bet on it. So, but that said, it's going to be a little bit closer than that because I'm having to use the King Post to measure. Oh, what well, have you got the King Post at? Because King Post is much better. Also, I've All kind right, of lost so track. Are you doing the, the third vessel now, Cortana? No, no. Well, it's uh, still the same vessel. So, and I've got uh, the top of the King Post where I'm measuring it at about 29 meters and at 10. Uh, Radian. Uh, 10 milliradians. I would agree, 10. That worked out to be 11.6. Yeah, meters. yeah, we concur, we both concur, it's about just under 12 kilometers, Sock. Copy, I will estimate everything here. Guys, what's the circle on the map? Circle on the map, stuff that I put on there, that means you're 3,000 uh, meters away from, that's your radius. So if you want to do an intercept point, you plan where you want to be along that, that line, draw the circle. And it gives you your range. Roger, roger. Sock, is it possible to work out again along that path how far ahead we are? Yes, yes, hold on. Uh, give me give me bearing range. Stand by. So, range is 12 kilometers. Bearing is, wow, bearing is now 288. I'm going to send the torpedo depth to 5 meters. Have you checked their Remind stats? Me to change it. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. Remind time. me to change it if we have to fire yep. at, at the flowers. I'm all over that, yeah. Uh, did you do the plot? Uh, sorry, I'll let you work. I'm on it. We're now past 45 degrees. I know that's not the correct, but you know what I mean. Past 45 degrees angle on bow. I feel yeah, like we we're eight kilometers ahead of them. Wow. Tell me if I'm right. Okay, damn. Um, if we were, so we are off their track. We are about seven kilometers off their track. That means we need to do a turn in a four kilometers. How long does it take? How long does it take to do four kilometers at eight knots? Does anyone know that? Yes, hold on. Because then it can plan how far away, how far in front we need to be. We should probably try to not use full speed. Okay, four kilometers at eight knots is 16 minutes and 14 seconds. 16 minutes. Do you concur, Aggie? I'm checking my math right now. It's pretty close. Roger. And can you tell me... No, they're probably about eight knots as well, aren't they? So that means they'll do the same distance in the same time. So we just need to be... Uh, four kilometers. So if I want to give Cortana four kilometers of play, it means that we just need to be eight kilometers in front of them. How far in front of them are we, Sock? I've forgotten what you said. I'd say we're about 8.3 kilometers ahead. How interesting. Message to Wolf, question to Wolfpack, um, Grump. We are now eight and a half kilometers in front of Convoy and pretty much ready for our turn in. What's their situations, please? Uh, urgent answer. Okay, so I just uh, talked to them. Boat 2 believes they see the convoy at 141, and they're about 10 kilometers away, heading course 050. Boat 3 is seeing them at 166 for 14 kilometers, uh, heading 065 for their course. 66. Six, give me range and give, give they me don't. bearing. Range. Oh, sorry. Uh, yep, stop, stand by. Okay, we're, we're a luxury position here. We're in a luxury position. We're out further ahead than we need to be, which is great news, guys. Yeah, we should probably try to go in at just half speed, so it's like... Yes, fine, Cortana, time. yeah. Yeah, and the longer we've got, the more time you've that, got to... That gives a lot more battery. All right, so I'm at 10 radio, so... I'm, uh, are you ready, Sock? Standing by. Okay, they are at, wow, 281 for 12 kilometers. 281 for 12 kilometers. I know the ranging's probably slightly wrong, but this is the best I can get. Copy, I've got a ballpark for where we're at. 
We are we are seven kilometers ahead. Okay. I had, to, I had to redo my ankles. Okay. Well, at least eight before we uh, before we make a turn in. It gives us loads of time. We don't have to stress. Ideally, ten because then we can go at half speed and if we need to for a bit of it. I'm just trying to plot in my mind where boat two is. There's one six six for about ten. Can you plot the reciprocal of one from the lead vessel? Well, you know, the guy that we're ranging from. Can you plot the reciprocal of 166 for 10? And that'll tell us where boat 2 is. So what's the reciprocal of 166, yes. guys? It is... Uh... Yeah, message for you, Cap. Uh, boat 2 sees the convoy just uh, a beam to them, so they're just now catching up with the front of the convoy. Yeah. I've got them So that'll be plus zero meters ahead of them. Roger. Okay, I've got, I've got their, uh, their angle plotted. What's their distance? The ten. Stick on 10. It's only rough. Ten. Yeah, just give me a rough so idea. Ten. So the the convoy is to their starboard. Uh, yes, to their starboard on their yeah. one six six. Boat three has changed course to zero seven zero. They are the ones that are ahead of boat two at this time, probably about two or three kilometers. Ahead. Interesting, interesting. Okay, all is well. Bearing in mind they're attacking the rear of the convoy, it's not too bad that they're behind. You know, Cap. Mm. We could probably, we're so far ahead, we could probably do the turn in and most of the ingress on the surface and then just dive. Yeah, we're in absolutely. Position. Also, chill. we're ahead. We're at a position where we can attack, but we want to help the other guy, the rest of the wolf pack out. So um, we will do that. Okay, boat plotted. Okay, that was boat. I actually forget. I think that's boat two. So boat two are about parallel with the front, and boat three, we're actually a little bit further ahead, I think, about where the. Uh, Alpha November 4957 is. So they're not as far as ahead. They weren't as efficient as we were, but they're not that bad. One of my worries now is actually losing sight of the convoy. It's one thing I don't want to do. I can't give you any more ranging. We're, out, we're yeah. so far ahead now, we can't do any more ranging. Even if we could take a solid measurement, the uh, the water lines are starting yeah. to disable, disable yeah. the horizon. Yeah. So we, we, we really have nothing. Want to halt then? Not quite yet. Can we? Um, let's just. Can we make a prediction how far ahead we are on the parallel, please, Dan? Doesn't have to be ac super accurate. Yeah, we'll. Um, we'll shortly. We'll turn in and wait, guys. I'm actually getting pretty close to getting alignments on the between like masts and funnels on ships that are on the right side of the convoy. They're right. That's weird, isn't so, it? So. Yeah. I, I think we're getting close to a point where we might actually be inside the convoy. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about that. And let them come through. Yeah, we'll obviously make sure we don't overshoot when we do our turn in. I'm just... I'm going to say we're at least eight, eight and a half to nine. Okay, guys, ahead. does anyone have any problems with turning on an intercept course? Nope. Intercept would be good for 315. 315, let me think, where's that? That's kind of like that angle. Right, let's do it. Um, Grump, can you keep full ahead? 315, stay surface for now, please. When you've done that, can you please tell the wolf pack that we're heading in? Uh, but we are way ahead of the convoy. We're about nine kilometers ahead of the convoy, so there's no pressure on them yet. 315, left to 315, Helmsite. Does 315 sound good to you, Aggie? Yes, sir. Okay. Cool. So you look at, if you look at your chart, that second line the southern line that we're about to cross is about 3,300 meters away from what we think they're traveling on there right course. so we're going to do about a kilometer or so and then we're going to pretty much stop and make minor adjustments all is well guys what would you say as we've got time to play with cortana what would you love to have as a Holding torpedo steady, range five uh, i don't know probably around three kilometers okay guys we're going to try and um stop three to three and a half kilometers i'm going to try and stop three kilometers which is pretty much what aggie's plotted so we're all good Standby. Uh, we are going to go one kilometer and then yep. within three kilometers of attack. All right. All right. Stay surface for now. Save the battery, guys. We're all doing well. So I'm expecting them to see them due west now. Magnetic. So let me find find a bloody convoy. Ah, there they are. Hey, boys. They're so far away, but I do see them. Yep. Come. Wow. They're pretty much head on now, which is terrifying. Yeah, we might want to go ahead. Because we can make adjustments once, once we're underwater. Yeah. Right. Okay, guys. It's that time. Grump, please. Diesel's off. 
and Cortana, uh, because you're probably the best divers of. So can you get us to 11.5 meters submerged and steady before you leave your uh, before you leave your station, please? 11.5 meters, bye bye. Swap to electric engines, uh, now swapping to half speed, Helms. Now it gets exciting. All right, let me check that map. Sock slash Aggie, how far away are we from their uh, line of travel? We are 3.1 kilometers. That's it. Grump, all stop when you get down. I'll stop, Helms. I. Do we have a yeah, speed at the convoy that we can pass along to the rest of the war pack? No, we do not. We're about to get it when I hand over to Cortana, so stand by. Okay, I'm about to get a new range, guys. About to get a new range because things have been happening. Uh, right, that is 14 milliradians, 14 milliradians. Kilometers, guys, nine kilometers. So things are gonna happen very fast now. Pass to Wolfpack, uh, Grump. We are stationed, we are all stopped, in position, nine kilometers ahead of the convoy, waiting for them to pass, or you know what I mean. Cappy, we'll pass along. Wow, they're closed really quick like this. <laughs> right, where's Flowers? Uh-oh, guys, we've done a boo-boo. Okay. We've done a boo-boo. We didn't think how wide this convoy is. It's about five kilometers wide. Can you get on the scope? There's a major problem. Look, 265, the convoy is so, we're in perfect position, but the convoy is so wide, we're actually inside the convoy line. If you scan left. The flowers is actually, gonna, I mean, it might not be a problem, but the flowers is gonna pass behind us. Relatively so south. We might, actually be able to, we might actually be able to take advantage of this and yep. essentially cut inside the convoy when, uh, once we've commenced our attack, and that'll make it really hard for the flowers to. Uh, what about minimum out. range on the torps? Is that well, going to be a I problem? Mean, this would this would this would be a uh, after we've fired the first four or five. Got it. And then the idea would be that we we'd wear one of the both as a hat. Are and, you? Uh, it will be inside the convoy, right? Are you happy with our current location then? Before I hand this over to you. Uh, yeah, we can make do with this. Are you? Have you finished the stabilization? Uh, yes. Right, um, you're on TDC. Please set your screen catch up so the valued viewers can see it. Roger. And uh, how do I get off this thing? I'm sitting over so long. Okay, Cortana right, is passing now. Passing from. Yep. Sorry, passing from the the rest of the Wolfpack. The other boats uh, are assuming, or not assuming, they're estimating the convoy speed to be 6.7 knot. Roger. If we want to cross reference that. Okay, here it goes, guys. Um, I've got a little bit of time on the observation scope. Right, so Katrina's going to start taking her reading. She's going to cross-reference the speed reading. Uh, Aggie, we can share the scope now if you want. I'm just going to have a quick look. Relative. Right, Cortana. So it, I, I think we'll be taking maybe the one with the big king post. You know, I'm just going to let you do your job. Yep, no, uh, 9.6 kilometers to the, the guy with the big king post. Lovely. Um, the angle is going to make it a bit my readings yeah that's the problem a little bit closer yeah may when i get a bit closer it's gonna be easier feel free to get on the observation scope and cross ref everything aggie sockington um yes nothing really no useful information when you're ready can you get a, a range from king poster please cortana i'm first sock so we can just cross ref everything um we know we're in position obviously is there a way to remove the fuse time on the uh to torp so that we can fire at relatively close range. I can remove safeties. Nice. I personally think I, that I just have one I just have one request. 9.2 kilometers to the funnel. Um okay, 9.2 kilometers that you say you fool you've killed us all. I will do when the time comes. So don't you worry about that damn and you will get the blame for it. Um It'll probably even be true. Yeah. Um, right. Everything's perfect, guys. Here's the one problem we found, Valued Viewers, is that the convoy, we originally thought they were kind of a skinny snake line. They're not. They're actually line abreast several kilometers wide. So what's happening is we're here. The convoy is coming along here. Here's the line of best fit. But they're actually all the way out here. Down. Uh, we'll just use it when we need to. Same with you, Cortana, when you're not using your scope. Let's get in the practice of hiding it. Hey, Cortana, I consider maybe getting in between the convoy, shooting out of forward and stern tube in aft tube. That is a good point. As it is, uh, I actually think that's going to be possible. Um, Exit. We are inside of the uh, con the ships that are fur furthest to the uh, is that furthest to the east. As we've got time, Cortana, there's no harm in uh, reversing at four knots. By the way, to gain some more, but it's up to you, based on the position. Eight point eight kilometers or so. Right, I'm actually going to use the restroom real quick as well. Roger, Roger. 
Can we get a rough estimate of when our attack's going to start? Yes, right, stand by, Grunt White. The other two boats are getting close in on their targets, and we don't want them to get... No, uh, it's... it's, it's then a, we don't want to jump the gun. It's a while yet, so let me do this. Guys, if they're at 15 mm radians, let me go and check that out. Uh, nine. Okay, I'm going to go for eight kilometers on a bearing of 267 for eight kilometers. 267 for eight kilometers. Uh, now, we need to work out how fast a ship doing about seven knots does eight kilometers. So well, current calculations are going to take over an hour for them to hit us. No, ignore that. That's not right. Let me let me just go and uh, jump on Google. Come on, how hard can it be? Right, got to convert uh, knots into miles an hour, right? Not, no, knots into kilometers an hour to kilometers an hour. Go. Cortana, are you happy with seven knots as a very rough guess? Is she not there back, is she? Uh, 13 kilometers an hour. If they're going to do 13 kilometers an hour, and I've got to do nine, eight kilometers, 60 minutes divided by 13 equals times eight equals. Well, we are predicting 30 minutes. I'm predicting 30 minutes before they're on us. Has anyone got any pushback on that? Bearing in mind seven knots nope. at eight kilometers. That's exactly right. Okay. Um, okay. So Grump. confirm 30, 30 minutes. So confirm 30 minutes before we attack. Yeah, rough 30 minutes before torpedoes out for us. So, do the same. If that means they fall behind and have to attack from behind, so be it. Target yep, position so I definitely updated have an, on map. They are very obviously zigzagging. Ah. Uh -huh. So, uh, I've got a different method that we can use that, that should work, but if we're going to sort of shoot at moving targets, then uh, we'll want them to be within about two kilometers. Say the distance again. About two kilometers. They will be. Uh, they will absolutely be within two kilometers. That's one thing yep. I can guarantee. Yeah. So I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking we fire two at our at our reference, and then we fire two at the. Uh, uh, I, I find that passenger ship to be extremely juicy. It's nice, isn't it? So um, I don't think. I don't think the passenger ships are very tonnage heavy, though. Uh yeah, it is. Almost fifteen. Uh, fifteen thousand tons. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Um, Can I get a new target hack? At 276 magnetic. Break, 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 break. Boat 2 has been spotted. They have fired and have dived. Shit. Shit. This is going to be a game changer. Things. Okay, well, uh, let's adapt. And there it's just inside of 6 kilometers. Aggie or Grump or Damp, can you change the uh, trim on the boat? Or it can, only Cortana can do it. We're slowly sinking, and I've lost the observation scope. It's not critical, but... No, boat 2 is dead. Don't you do it, Cortana. I need you up there. Okay, Boat 2 is dead. Fine, leave it. Right, what are the, what's the convoy doing, Cortana? Are they scattering? Well, you know, they kind of look like they're coming around, so we're actually going to be on the wrong side of them. Um, I'm thinking if we maybe pick up a heading of about 320... Yep. And uh, go ahead slow, because um, they because we'll eventually need to come around to a heading of about two nine zero, because they just completely changed heading on us, and they they're, are they're all gonna pass behind us now. Oh, are you gonna uh, attack from the other side? No. You wanna attack from the other side? Yeah, you we're literally gonna attack from the opposite side of the convoy. Understood. You're, You're absolutely right, Cortana. Uh, Grump, ahead slow on a heading of three two zero. Ahead, slow, turning left, or turning right, 320, helm side. 320, navigation eye. And, uh, Nav, do you want a, uh, a new hack? Not right now. When we're settled, get Yeah, they're, they're bending all over the place, Damp. They've, they've changed their heading. Changed their heading, so it's going to change. We'll be okay, but... So we're going to do a UE turn at some point, aren't we, Cortana? Yup. Say again. Come left, 270, magnetic. 27, left to 270, helm side. 270 magnetic. Navigate map. Boat 3 is defensive firing uh, eels. God damn it. What's the matter with those guys? Right, it's going to shake it up again. They All really right, we're are. probably too close for the uh, for the other scope anyway. I'm just going to stabilize this Roger, Roger. at about 12. Wow, they really have shifted, guys. Cortana, yep, I think we're going to miss are. our. Unless we get whipped around, I think we're going to lose our chance, you know? That's why I updated the. Uh, Right, what's happened, guys, in case for the guys who can't see, the convoy has whipped around to their starboard massively, like aggressively, and they're no longer going to ram into us. They're now kind of 
t turning 90 degrees different to what they were. It's obviously a massive oh shake-up. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, come left to heading 225. So we're chasing them around. We're chasing them around. And we'll adapt yep, as necessary. they might have screwed us over. Yeah. Ahead half. 225, navigation I. Problem was the boys I'm steady at 270 now. All ahead half. Did All ahead half. Did, did, Cortana, didn't you say 225 you want to be on? Or did I mishear that? Yeah, that was 225. 225, Grum, 225. Left to 225, Helms Eye. Hits, oh. hits, hits. Hits, hits, hits. Fantastic. They sank the uh, the cruise ship. Send congrats to sub three. Passed. What was the tonnage on it, uh, Cortana? About 14,000. Right, we still need two oh, yeah. boats. We still need two boats. Cortana, give me a bearing real quick. Take the uh, scope. One? Take the scope. Uh, uh, it is... Let's see, we are looking at 4.8 kilometers. Helm holding steady at 225. Caps back on the scope. I'll get closer to 258.5 now. And can we I get got our updated the position on the map. Right, Cortana. Forwards and fire. Forwards and fire. So what I'm probably going to do is fire a bit of a spread when I get the chance. Are you happy just going four knots? 4.5 knots, that's Cortana? Gonna have, that's going to have to be good enough. All right. We'll, uh, we're going to have to make do. Right. Oh, crap. We are... Uh, uh, can somebody come up to TDC now? Uh, you're on off nav. You're on to TDC. Uh, damp, confirm. Moving up. Last known position marked on map. We're all good. We're visual now anyway, so. Standing by. All right. All right. Set um, uh, the angle device to attack periscope. These are they're zigzagging so hard. Show your best shot. Um. We've got lots of time to do this. We've got lots of torpedoes, so don't be. Do be yep. frivolous. Ang Send them out. Angle We're on, on port bow. Call it zero eight zero. Actually, zero nine zero. Now. Zero nine zero. Port. Okay. Speed eight point eight knots. Well done. Copy eight point eight. All right, range is gonna be good. Getting ready for tube one. Welcome All back, right, Cap. Um, we have eels in the water. Well done. Ranging a second target. Um, same, same, but different. You know, same, same, but different. How many eels have we got out? Uh, four at the moment. Are you happy we're close enough, Cortana? No idea. Can I suggest uh, for I mean, we. Yeah. We have the range. Yeah, go ahead and. Uh, um. I think we should get closer, personally. Uh, and Go, keep great, attacking. Great. All ahead, great speed. There was minimal we escorts out there. We can smash into them. And... I've got all T2s set on uh, loading into the tubes. Roger. Just time so you know. remaining on. Uh, time remaining on those. Tube one is about eighty percent. All right, I've got to identify this other ship here. Wow, they're heading away from us now. Cheeky sons of bees. Flowers has not seen us. They're all turning, Cortana. They're all turning away from us. I see some turning towards us. Uh, oh. Let's see. What is this guy? Um, I assumed away. I assumed away, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, so it feels like a heavy tanker type 16. Uh, set new length, 137 meters. Uh, set torpedo running depth, 4 meters. Apologies, Cortana. Set They're heading length. towards us. Set yep. depth. It looks like they're up going back on their original course now, which is basically straight towards us. Yep, just about. Which is fine. We can handle that. Okay, guys, this is going to get exciting. Cortana, I suggest all stop now. Now they're coming towards us. Yep, actually, uh, all ahead, uh, dead slow. Come right to heading 250. Right to 250, slow speed, I. Right? Dead slow. Two, one loaded. Kinetic uh, detonator on. Roger. I think we probably had full set of misses there. That's fine. The good news is they should be... I think they're going back on their original course, and I think they're going to be going in a nice straight line for us, a nice straight. So we've got plenty of time to get these nice and nice and good. Holding steady 250. Thank you. Ooh, under four kilometers, so, guys. Yep, four kilometers to my present target. Yep, agreed. The stream is saying... Periscopes, worry about your periscopes. There's no escorts around, guys. The escorts have gone to the back. 
Yep, I see an escort, but it's a long yep. way away. We could we could ships, practically ships, surface and hammer these guys from where we are. No, 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 no. no let's do it right, guys. Let's do it. If if we oh, fail, if we fail with the eels, we will hammer them. But let's try doing it properly. Actually, let's go ahead and come left to heading. Or sorry, yes, come left to heading two four zero. Left to two four zero, Helms Eye. All right, I'm Wait, filling sorry. the clocks. I think those are. Uh, those are wasted. Then I we did hey, not Aggie. anticipate them zagging back like this. Yep. Sometimes. Oh god. Nobody's I like to float upside down with my face down in the pool and pretend I'm a buoy. A buoy? <laughs> Do you mean a boy? <laughs> a buoy. All right. Bloody Americans. This is a lovely. Oh. Crimson. Let me sell it to you, Grump. It's a lovely crimson sky. There's a huge steaming World War II Allied flotilla co uh, convoy heading straight towards us. We've got all the missiles in the world. It's going to be beautiful, baby. You remembering to take your medication, uh, Damp? I was force-fed them earlier. <laughs> you were. Before we got on the side. Just got to pop the top cap. Got to let that wind flow through our hair. Agreed. Completely agreed. You know what? I think I'm done. I, I'm, I'm leaving the ship. <laughs> Already? I'm going for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> take, don't take Aggie with you, please. We still need him. Yeah. Look at that flowers. About 20 kilometers away. What a douche. I'm going for a walk. <laughs> God damn it. They're turning again. Sons of Bye, bitches. Bye, Yeah, they are. Right when you get work. Why wouldn't they just go in a straight line and be shot at? I uh, recommend uh, you drop the periscope at this point. Yep. I've got a sing along for us. All right, sell it to us, Cortana. Your eyes now. Says, Why not, damn? Why not? Excellent song. It's making Grump go a bit mental. Three point six kilometers. Everybody with him. It's a long way. Three point six kilometers. It's a long way. Is that three point six set for now? Do your job, Dam. Okay, set two to two loaded. Say again. <laughs> Oh my god. Go, I uh, just go ahead and set 3.4 kilometers. 3.4 clicks. Set. We're dancing in preparation for the hits, guys. <laughs> this is a really weird position to be in. We're like. See where I come from, it's swing your partner, do see do. <laughs> I'm going for a nap. <laughs> I find it impressive that this is an English song on a German U boat. Mm -hmm. It's kind of ubiquitous for the time, I think. Actually, it kind of makes sense because then it uh, camouflages us as uh, not German. They will never know I'm the Grimmeister, ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine being a German guy singing this and it was broken English? <laughs> Oh, it's the Grandmaster to his mm. uh, Yeah. Like, this is how they learn English. What, what, what's going on? What's going on, Cortana? Uh, not a whole lot. I'm just waiting for him to get closer. Uh. Two, three loaded. Updated range 2.4 kilometers. 2.4. 2.4 set. Where the hell is Aki? I think he took a walk. Roger. Yeah. Understood. I went for a swim. Get that fresh air. I'm watching you work, Dan. Angle on bow. Call it 8 degrees. 8 degrees, bow Off. left. Uh, actually, it's going to be off the starboard bow. Ooh. <laughs> They're off. all over the goddamn place. Set. Okay, sounds exotic. This song, give me the zoomies. <laughs> He's got the zoomies, guy. Farewell, 
<laughs> Needs more drums. Agreed. Can never have too little or too much drum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, two point two meter. Or wow. Point two. Two point two, two, point point two cent. <laughs> Raise two point two cent. Thank you, John. Your, your enthusiasm is appreciated, mm -hmm. uh, Tavarish. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I think we need more filthy Frank. Los. Yep, that's it. No, not Los. <laughs> <laughs> how many, how like, many torpedoes do we have loaded? Tubes, one, two, three, loaded, loaded, tube, four. He is filthy Frank. <laughs> how, how loaded is tube four? Just the tip. You know that's actually good enough. Cortana, right. what's the range? What's the range you want? I'm just checking damps. Um, I mean, uh, doesn't matter. It looks fine actually. I was reading the yeah, page wrong. Um, range one point six. Change the uh, new range. Range one point six. Beautiful. It's gonna be a good shot, guys. Two four loaded. <laughs> 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 He's just getting into the moment, guys. Let him fly. Uh, what do you show as my angle on bow? Angle on bow. Zero. One. Zero. Zero. Uh, that's good enough. All right. Uh, Give it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take Close one it. last... Uh, Jesus Christ. Take one last range. Send it! Put him on the nose and kill it! Do what Dam says. I'm in here now. Range 1.4. 1. 1.4! 1. 4. Set! Tube 1. Lows. Woo! There she goes, baby! Out she goes! Tube 2, set! Tube 2. Lows. Lows! Look at my baby! Tube uh, 3, set! What's the, what's the time? For imp time to impact? One minute, ten seconds! Roger, I've got a watch started this time. I'm gonna drop the scope. Ooh, exciting! Look, we're all to the conning tower together, guys! Isn't this exciting? Nothing better than some semen loaded up into the tube. Go, go um, ahead and reload tubes one and two while you're at it. Load damp in, load grump into it, in. into I'm tube three. In. <laughs> I volunteer as tribute! <laughs> Send him! Let me fly! <laughs> Give him some flippers and a hand grenade and send him. I got heartaches five inches. Come on, please. <laughs> By the laws of pro- Yes! We bring some in Motherfucker! Schnell! We need another call time. We need another 4,000 oh! times to go. Oh! Oh! Direct hit for the oh! All right. All right. We need, we need to kill uh, one more thing. We need to kill one more thing. Kill angle, kill on kill star angle on starboard bow, 15 degrees. Angle on starboard bow, 15 degrees. 15 set. Range, 1.2. Range, 1.2 set. Angle on bow, zero. Angle on bow, zero. Two, three. Set. Close. Close! Set two, four. Two, four, set! Angle on bow, 15 degrees off starboard bow. 15 degrees starboard bow! Set! Close. No! Time! One minute, zero seconds! Come on, baby! It's a long way of temporary! <laughs> how long until, uh, tube. How long until tube one reloaded? Or any tube reloaded? I got. I got halfway in! Ooh. I'm sliding in steady! It's gonna take a while! Oh, yeah. don't, don't, don't forget the, the lube, Dam. Ooh, he, dude, Dam always goes in dry. He likes the pain. What? Why the hell I'm going in? I didn't now. order lube! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Deliver us, Mitchell. Just come in there! <laughs> Alright, impact in about five seconds or oh, so. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, come on. Come on. Do it. 
Do it. Do it. They're zigzagging really hard. Time oh, to reload. No! Time to reload them. Yikes. Damn, can't take it anymore. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain! I'm almost there! Weapon missed, do you have a stern shot? Uh, you know I haven't tried. Tube one loaded! Uh, range 2.7. Actually, 2, 2.5. All safeties disabled. Angle on bow, 90 degrees off port. 90 degrees off port. 90 degrees set. Two, whatever, lows. Lows! Oh, lows! How, long, how long until the next one? That one's probably gonna miss. I, uh... Kinda hip fired that one. It's a long way to temporary. If it's a long way, do we go deck gunning? Understood. Alright, um... Ba -ba -ba -ba. TTI? TTI? Uh, TTI is one minute, ten seconds. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Where's the flowers, Cortana? Uh... Close enough that we should be worried. Where have all the flowers wow. gone? That was a genuinely bad shot. Long My bad. Time um, passing. Where have all oh. the flowers gone? Yeah. What? Um, Plan the You're making me focus on silence. Come right to heading 250. Get down the ground. 350. 350, helm site. Negative. Say 350. 350. Re back, right, Three five zero helms. Thank you. Angle on bow, ninety degrees off the port bow. Reloading tube one, ninety degrees port bow. This is actually going to be on a tube five shot. Copy. I've already got it set. Uh, call it range. Uh, one kilometer. Range one kilometer set. Uh, are we coming around to the right? Oh fucking! We're heading, going? turning right two eight zero. Okay, well, well. Confirm you want us to go on three five zero. Do you do you have a a light showing that we cannot fire at this uh, angle uh, uh, dam? No. Yes. Yes, it's in. You can see that. It's there you lit. go. Now it's good. Now it's good. Looks like it. Two, five, I'm not certain. Close. 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 Currently heading past uh, three one zero. All right. Come left to heading. One nine zero. Left one nine zero grub. One nine zero left helms right. Reloading tubes one and three. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> Thank you, Dom. I mean, that is the best advice I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck right, up. I've got a dumb idea. Mm -hmm. Do it. We do have a merchant that's not too far away. I think. All right, so. Uh, all ahead flank. What's our battery life remaining? Full speed, uh, Helm's Eye, stand by one. Are our torpedoes going under them? Uh, shouldn't be, but... Is the flower heavy uh, enough? I'm having I'm... enough... I'm, I'm having enough problems hitting merchant ships that are... 15 feet away from us and quite large. Uh, What's the plan, Cortana? The flower sounds like a terrible plan. Um, <laughs> to put a merchant in between us and the flower, surface and uh, get the merchant from point blank range. Confirm we're done with the TDC? Uh, yeah. Damn, prepare to get on the main gun. Me. Off you go. I'm getting some fresh air! <laughs> we're currently at 7 kiloamp hours. Okay, just tell us, when you, want, tell us when you want us to. Um, Surface and tell us which vessel to attack once we're up there. Roger. Uh, let's go ahead and come right to a heading of 205. Right to 205, Helm's Eye. Okay. And uh, here we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and surface us. Tell you us want me to zeroize the TDC? Do it, just in case. Do it, just in case. And then just fucking send them. Okay, okay, I'm going angle tracking off. It's gonna be a straight shot. Okay, I'll. Oh. What course are we on, Grum? Oh, see. Steady at 205. Thank you. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna send them all out, Cortana. We're surface, we're surface, we're surface. Are they zeroized? 
down for the zero. Yeah, they're all zero eyes. It's, it's set up for a straight shot. Can't send it. I can't send it. Get on the gun. Just get on the gun. Go, go, go. Cortana. Doesn't matter. I can't get the torpedoes to fire. Let's go, 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 go. Close, 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 close. If you can, send torps out. All of them. Caps on the AAA gun. Okay, motherfuckers. Get some. Which one are we going for, Dan? Firing. Get some. Anyone know if the 40 might be hit? Hits. 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 You're hitting. Thank you. Get some. Watch your heads, guys. One and two, lows. Send it, send it, send it. Everything. Fire everything. That's all we have. Warship 290 relative off the port side. 290. 290. Relative. Where is that left or right? I've got no reading. Uh, tally, tally. Left, got it, got it, got it. Get some, mother. Can you tell me where? Walk my shots in. Walk my shots in, Aggie. I can't see. You're high. Got the decent. Got them. Incoming! Incoming! You're, you're in front. Roger, roger. Right. Roger, roger. Little Come. higher, good hits. Yes, we're getting hits. Flowers. Further right, further right, keep tracking right. Gonna reload. Oh, we have him. Incoming fire from the front, coming fire from the front. I'm taking the guy on the right. Kill that motherfucker. Keep it up, keep it up. Get him, get him, get him. If you sink that boat, we win. Get the Get some flowers, you son of a bitch! Oh, oh, we're taking 80 mils! Oh, that was so cool, man. What a brilliant session that was. Oh, right. Let's uh, detox and debrief. I'll see you in Discord, guys. Woo, that shortened our lives by a few years. Jesus, that was crazy. Right, guys. That was intense. That was... Well, let's go... Um, ours is the longest. So why don't we start with... Um, obviously, you guys, it turns out, were on the other side of the convoy. We were on the starboard. You were on the port. So talk us through it. Saab 2, first of all, actually. Yeah, so we started behind the convoy. Um, we saw a sub to the left of the convoy, sort of off to our left. So we went to full information with that. That was that ended up being sub three. Um, then we sort of on we was off their their bow on, on the port side, moving into position. I then got the call that you were attacking. We had an escort sort of on the left flank, quite far out. So for us. To be able to get within torpedo range, we had to basically just do a kamikaze run on the surface, straight at the at the convoy, basically. And then we got our torpedoes off, but and we was crash diving, but we got hit and we died. And apparently, we we hit our our target somehow. It was a bit of a hail mary shot, but oh, it was you guys hit it, was it? Yeah. yeah, brilliant hit, brilliant hit, guys. Yeah, it was good targeting, poor positioning on our part. We uh. We started in a really bad spot. Yeah, we knew yeah. where you, you we knew where you guys were because we were obviously uh, talking to you guys. Uh, we had very difficult decisions to make, uh, oh, so we ended up sort of sacrificing you. But that's the decision we had to make. But you also did kill the biggest ship of the game, so let's not For forget the that. Motherland. Mm -hmm. What you guys? Well, well done. War crimes. Sub three. Yeah. Uh, sub three. What happened to you guys? Uh, this is Strider, captain of three. All right. Previous captain had to leave mid game, but um, yeah. since I was nav um on the map, anybody else wanted the briefing or should I? So I was um on the map and mostly just plotting everything and basically recording what we were doing. And I even managed to get really close to where we were after diving and she's ever seen. But anyway, we were just following orders um to the left of most of the subs, and eventually we got into position to fire torpedoes. We fired four of them. I guess we didn't hit anyone. I'm not sure, but 
we did witness um, sub two in the moment that it was lost, or was it sub one? I think it was sub two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was two. And then our captain left, so I switched to captain. And when the next boat was destroyed, we decided since we were almost done, I think we needed one more ship to destroy. We launched all of our torpedoes again, and we were just surfacing to launch our deck gun when we witnessed sub one also using his deck gun. But then the game ended, and that's how far we got. Oh, I thought you guys were dead. Yeah. I didn't realize. No, no, we we, we we had four eels in the water when you quit the game. <sighs> we didn't. Oh. Dang it. Yeah, I saw our bad guys. I, 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 heard, I thought I heard you died ages ago, which is why I thought we were the last ones. No, I, I said that they had bugged out, but I didn't right. hear any comms from them after that saying that they were re-engaging. So. It's my guy, bad guys. I, I misheard. I thought you guys were dead. Otherwise, all right, so be it, guys. We're kind of out of time anyway, though, to be honest. So I guess it makes sense. That's sub three. Well done, guys. That was um, really shit hot from you guys. Um, uh, generally speaking, both of you did really good. Uh, didn't do anything wrong. Um, us, uh, we had a great time. Ours was a roller coaster of emotions, <laughs> should we say? <laughs> we started off brilliantly, just like we wanted. Really efficient, smacked in front of the convoy. Perfect guidance from Sock. We've got Aggie as well, who's a real um, submariner, so he was double checking all of our maths and stuff. And we got perfectly. We got ten kilometers in front of the convoy. We turned in. We all stopped, and we just sat there for half an hour waiting which is where obviously you guys were scrambling at that point, but we were just sitting there waiting, just double-checking everything. Convoy slowly come along. And then that's when you guys got spotted, obviously, and Sub 2 went down, and um, and then they just scattered. So all of our plans were scuppered at that point. And so we uh, then, okay, fine, uh, stayed submerged, chased the convoy down on their new heading, sent an eel out. Did we get hit on the first set of eels, guys? I've forgotten. I don't think we did, did we? Yeah, we, we did. We oh, got dear. a hit. Okay, we took a, like an 11,000 tonner or something like that. Um, and I'm then, pretty sure we did not get a hit with the first eel. No, I didn't think so. The first, set. the first set. And then we went in and got much closer, and we were shooting from like two clicks or something. The second, and we did get 11,000 tonner down, which was great. Um, then again, at that point, the convoy was just going nuts. Um, so in real life, we would have just bugged out at that point, but obviously... You know, we were out of time. So, uh, Call Channel was just shooting everything that moved, but nothing nothing landed. Uh, we assumed that everyone, you two, subs two and three were out of the game at that point. So, we then decided to make the idea of surfacing, full power ahead, and just went in with guns and got in a gunfight with a goddamn flowers that came out of nowhere. And he just killed us just as we were finishing off the last, uh, the last merchant ship. So, seconds, seconds from winning that mission. But, um, I mean, it's all about having fun at the end of the day, and you can't have much more fun than that. I thought that was brilliant. Um, any general comments, guys? It's, yeah, about about the friend, <laughs> it's about the friends we met along the way. Mm. There you go. Yeah, we was about to come join the deck party, mm. but then the game ended. Yeah, it was a bit uh, annoying. You probably oh. The only thing is we probably would have finished, if we knew you were alive, we probably, you would have finished after that, that uh, thing, but I guess let them learn, double-check that they're dead before uh, uh, assuming. But uh, that was Top Notch, guys. Uh, obviously, it didn't go to plan, but that's fine. Um, we still almost did 30,000 tons, which for us isn't that bad. Yeah, if we could really get a full crew, that would be the best because of all the positions. Yeah. I had to switch between two of them most of the time. So the annoying thing is now we've learned kind of, as you'll see, we learned to do it, to get ahead and do really well. But what, the next thing we need next Saturday is to get everyone ahead 10 clicks because the problem we was... Yeah, but the problem was because um, because you guys are so far behind and we knew we were limited to two hours, you know, we couldn't wait to get everyone ahead of the convoy uh, and kind of do it properly. Um, is, what spawn options do we have? Well, I think the quick battle would just um, put us into advantageous positions starting off. Yeah. So we'd probably be able to beat it within 30 minutes, I would that, assume. That's, I don't know. I actually haven't seen it, though. So that's For me, thing. half the fun is uh, the planning, though, and getting ahead. I love that stuff. I think just do us. We just spawn in and see if we're close enough to get to each other. And if we're not, just reset it until we get a decent Oh, spawn. right. That's a fair point. Because we, oh, yeah. we were spawned to the starboard, but when we just hammered the engine on straight away, and we were off like a, like a whippet. Yeah, that was just a bad setup, I think. Right. It was quite an advantage of having one on one side and two on the other. No, it was a great thing. Because it, it's it's a good position to be in. So because it, if one fires, then so was any it, escorts go one way. Was it you guys' fault for being too slow, or were you just put like way behind the convoy? Because we were directly behind it. We had to go right. like left first yeah. to get on the 
flank yep. and then drive, but we were we were flank speed the whole time. No, we started out eight or nine behind the con dead behind the. That's convoy. ridiculous. Then yeah, we was we was yeah. way behind that. You know what? Yeah, one thing I did notice and I forgot to say uh -huh. is that the nav bot, whenever you uh, submerge, mm -hmm. stops tracking your position. Oh, really? So you have to dead reckon it out. Yeah. God, Lord. Okay. So the nav needs to take a look at that. Okay, noted. Um, luckily, usually when we're submerged, it's the end anyway, if you know what I mean, as in we're about to stop and have an attack. So at least at least that's good. Um, uh, just thinking, there's probably the reason for that then is that the, 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 the only the starboard and port guys are meant to get ahead. It looks like you guys are meant to trail about four kilometers and and kind of finish them up once we've done the attack i imagine that's why you were back there does anyone agree with that you have to think about that because yeah because on previous ones we never saw boat free so maybe they started behind i mean if you're starting at the, if you start behind it you are never getting ahead of it because that's a four three hour job to do that and we haven't got three hours so i'm wondering if a guy's behind be a follow-up team hold fire until the main attack started so just trail them but uh, and no oh, no you no, you can't well, having boat boat two attack from the port quarter of the convoy wouldn't. Yeah, have been maybe. Bad, you know, uh, I, uh, mm. but I think yeah, I think you can do that. But I think wait for the main attack and then go in for the attack. So wait for the ambush from the front and then go in and start and start polishing stuff off. Once I go zigzagging, you can catch up quite quickly mm. anyway. Interesting. I didn't think about that, guys. So maybe, mm. yeah, interesting. All right. Well. Learning experience, very difficult, very difficult thing to do, this is, obviously. I think my takeaway here is it's it's very challenging to actually use the the calculator to actually, like, especially, like, on short notice on the fly. Um, and so I'm actually leaning towards, I've, I, I got an app for my phone that actually lets you, um, it's got all of the historical, like, the wheels. Uh, mm. Like if you've seen the attack disc that's available in game, there's like three or four additional ones on top of that that essentially does a bunch of the trigonometry and lets you more or less fire from the hip a little bit more effectively. So I'm I'm tempted to, to try to learn how to use those properly. And uh, yeah, I, I think that's yeah. yeah maybe a good idea. And also things are never going to go. A lot of people keep asking me to watch these single player guys that do not think is multiplayer is so much different because it's never going to go to plan with with three different subs with different levels of experience i reckon a lot of the time we're going to be being dynamic working on the fly and shooting from the hip a lot because we're never going to get three subs perfectly in position you know it's not just in two hours not in two hours it's just not going to happen so accept that we're going to be doing try and do it as best we can but accept that the situation we found ourselves in today when we're kind of chasing around after things after the attack started that probably will have to be the way we're going to operate for quite a lot and so quick a quick reliable non-complex rough firing method is going to be critical to getting that to work for all of us really i guess we'll try and organize next saturday and i will see you guys next week yep later, yes, see you, later. thank you aggie